Hey everyone, I'm Doug Koenig, professional shooter for over 30 years, and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new crossbow from Axe. Some of the key benefits and features, number one, it is a reverse draw, reverse limb system. So what you get with that is a super compact design. It's only 27 and a half inches long from front to back. The other thing you can see is how narrow this is axle to axle, uncocked it's 14 and a half inches and once it's cocked and ready to shoot it's only at 10 inches. It launches a, four, a 380 grain bolt at 405 foot per second giving you about 138 foot pounds of kinetic energy. All that and the whole thing weighs under 10 pounds, 9.75 to be exact. The other feature of this system with a reverse limb, reverse cam system is the balance point is now in your hand. It's not at the butt and it's not like a traditional crossbow all out front. So the balance point is right in your hand, right where you want it, super balanced, really helps with accuracy and when you're tree stand hunting or even in a ground blind, you really want it to be well balanced and very maneuverable and it is in this compact design. We've got an adjustable foot stirrup. All right, <clears throat> this has a lot of adjustability, this crossbow. We've got an adjustable cheek piece. So you got about an inch and a quarter, you just loosen this Allen head nut here, and you've got about an inch and a quarter adjustability up and down, so you can adjust for yourself, so you wanna be sure to see right through your optics eye box. You can adjust that if you got a long neck or a little shorter neck. We also have, it comes through at 14 and a quarter length of pull, but we've got these three quarter inch spacers that stack on top of each other. So you can go from 14 and a quarter to 15 or 15 and three quarters. So this crossbow is very well suited to fit different size people, very adjustable. Some of the other key features on this crossbow that you won't see anywhere else, one thing you notice is there's no rail as you would see in a traditional crossbow. We've got these carbon rods where the trigger box glides down and snaps onto the string. The carbon is very quiet and light. We've got a single point front rest for the front of the bolt. On the bolts themselves, we've got an aluminum knock, okay? And you'll notice in the trigger shoe box, it's cut out to fit the fletchings. They can only go in one way and this snaps right on the string just like a, your traditional vertical bow. All right, so it's super consistent shot after shot because the bolt cannot vary where it is in the box and on the string. Also, that front rest is adjustable. If you want to paper tune it, it comes factory set. Uh, they do a great job on it. I shot this right out of the box, out to 60 yards, and shot three, three and a half inch groups at 60 yards with it right out of the box from the factory. So I haven't even paper tuned it. All right, some of the other key features on this is the trigger. It's a two-stage trigger. It's got a light first stage and then a three and a half pound second stage with only about 20 thousandths movement. They've got a roller system on the engagement surfaces. Super clean trigger. This will be a phenomenal trigger on any weapon, but on a crossbow, it's fantastic. Some of the thing that I love too is the crank. All right, I had it down so you could see the cheek piece when it's, when it's locked and ready to fire, it doesn't move. So how do we load the crossbow? You turn it counterclockwise, which unlocks and drops the trigger box. It comes right down, all right? Now I've got it just right, I want you to listen, it's gonna snap on the string, okay? Now we're ready to cock. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is the noise or lack thereof of the crank. All right, it's that simple. Oh, and look, I can let go of the handle and it doesn't go spinning out of the way, flying off or hitting me. I can stop it halfway through if I decide I'm not gonna hunt or shoot and I can simply uncock it. All right, no more needing decocking bolts or some other type of system that can be very dangerous. Super quiet, super safe, and when the trigger box comes back, it automatically puts the safety on, and now it's locked, ready to go. Okay, once you have it cocked, 
I always like to hold the bolt just behind the field point or the broadhead if I'm hunting. I'm going to drop the bolt into the trigger shoe box. I'm going to line it right up. You'll hear it snap on the string. And now we're ready to go. All right, super compact, 405 foot per second. And also, I didn't even tell you, we've got the adjustable optic here. You can dial it in for the velocity of your crossbow once you start to get it sighted in. And it's got hold points from 20 to six, uh, 20 to 100 yards, excuse me, I was gonna say 60, because to me anything after 60 is crazy, but these things will shoot. Now I don't recommend you shooting at an animal at those distances, because a lot of variation and variables can come into play. But they are so accurate, it's fun to shoot. I've only shot this one out to 60 so far, but I can't wait to try it out to 100. I'm gonna take a shot here on this target, and I want you to hear how quiet this crossbow is. I've got my Glendale crossbow. Super quiet, no recoil. You gotta check them out at a dealer near you. I can't wait to take mine into the woods this fall.